Alom Zansin welcomed Tadim Zansi. President Cyril Ramaphosa has reiterated in court papers filed on Tuesday that Jacob Zuma's attempt to privately prosecute him is flawed in law. The president has said in his court papers that Jacob Zuma failed in his court submissions to seriously dispute his court challenge to the summons served to him in December. President Cyril Ramaphosa responded to the summons by calling it a stunt designed to stimmy his re-election as president of the ANC and by filling a two-part application to the Johannesburg court. He is asking the court to set aside the private prosecution as unlawful and unconstitutional, but as a first step in seeking an interdict to halt any further efforts in this direction by his predecessor. In his replying affidavit to Zuma's politically charged answering affidavit, the president said Zuma did himself a disservice by deliberately framing the case made for setting aside the summons as based entirely on the argument that the private prosecution was pursued with an ulterior purpose and improper motive. This was not correct and meant that Zuma had failed to address the main reasons the summons should be set aside. In a statement, the paper statement and said, the result of the first respondent's approach is that the core grounds on which I challenge the summons have not been seriously disputed. What Zuma did was attempt to equate Ramaphosa's argument that the summons served on him on the eve of the ANC conference was an abuse of process for an ulterior political purpose with his own history of claiming that his prosecution for arms deal corruption was politically motivated. In his own case, Zuma said the country's highest courts held that a prosecution could not be halted purely because it was initiated with improper motive. It would only be deemed wrongful if apart from the motive there were no grounds for prosecution. He then went on to allege that the president was seeking special treatment from the justice system by advancing an argument no different from that of Zuma more than a decade ago. It will be heard that a full bench of the high court regarding Zuma's allegation that the president failed to act on his plea that he addressed improper conduct on Downer's part. The president said he responded by referring it to Justice Minister Ronald Lamola who was final oversight over the NPA. He advised Lamola to refer the matter to the legal practice practice counsel, noting that he had neither the power nor any intention to interfere in the independence of the NPA.